welcome. This video is in response to a question that one of my supporters has asked, and he's trying, he's going through a book uh, that's talking about uh, C programming, and he was trying to create a C program that he can run on an Apache web server, and uh, he came across a problem. So what I've done now is on, uh, I'm logged in remotely to a machine here. It's a Linux Mint uh, um, 18.1 Cinnamon, and it's it's running it's the live CD so it's it's a brand new system the only thing I've done so far is connect it to my network and enable SSH so I can log in so this is bare bones Linux Mint if you can call it bare bones uh, I just wanted to do it on a fresh system so I don't skip any steps but let's go ahead and get started so the first things we need to do are install the tools that we need so we're gonna sudo apt-get install build essentials we're gonna need those to compile our C code I'm going to use Vim as my text there. You don't have to have that, but I'm going to install that. And we're going to use Apache 2 as our um, as our web server. So I'm going to go ahead and let those install. Uh, once those are installed, we're then going to create a basic little hello world um, C file. This should only take a few seconds to install here. It's unpackaging them. And give it a second. And that's everything we need installed. I'll clear the screen. So now I'm going to go Vim and I'm going to create a, a, a text file, a .c file called test. I'm going to go in here and we're going to type, oops, include. And we're going to include the standard in and out header. And then we're going to init main, our main function here. And we're going to, in here, give a printf. And we're going to say, in here, we're going to type, and you got to type this properly. So all your code, every code you write for your Apache um, uh, CGI bin folder, has to start with this line. So it's content dash type colon, and this part might change a little bit, we're going to create a text file, so this is going to output plain text, so text plain, backslash n, backslash n, those are new line characters. So this is telling the web browser, I'm transferring you a plain text file, and then you got to give it two new line characters before you can start giving the output. Uh, this may change to, uh, to say HTML, if it's an HTML file, but we're just working with a plain text file here for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and then we're going to give it our output. I'm going to say print f, and here I'm going to say hello world. And then to be proper, we're going to return zero. And we will save that. Now we compile that, gcc, that file name, dash o for output, and we'll just call the output test. So it's compiled it, and here in my shell, I should be able to test C and get the output. So as you can see, it gave us this. I didn't put a new line character at the end of this, which I probably should have. Let's go ahead and add that just to, to be proper about it. So going back into Vim, new line character. We'll recompile that. GCC, the file name we just created, and the dash O in the output file name. Dot slash test. And there we go, you can see the output. So the web browser will only display this line here. This line here is just telling the web browser what we're passing to it so it knows how to display it properly. So our C program is created, compiled. Now we need to put it someplace on our web server where it can run. And this folder may change, but on Debian-based systems, so Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, it's USR, lib, CGI bin. So we're going to, as a root or sudo, we're going to sudo copy the file we just created, we, do, we just compiled, and I'm going to put it in this folder here. Now, let me go to our web browser. This is our uh, the URL for our web server, or not the URL, but the IP address. I'll go ahead and refresh that. You can see that this is the default page. And to get to our code, since we copied it into our CGI folder, it's going to be all lowercase CGI dash bin forward slash and the name of our file, which is in this case test. I'll go ahead and hit enter, and we get not found. So this is where uh, the question came in 
from the viewer, from my supporter, he was getting that error. I believe it was that error he was getting. Thing is, you have to enable CGI scripts for Apache. You should only have to do this once, but you're going to sudo a2en mod CGI. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It will enable that and tell us that you have to restart the Apache server. So we're going to sudo server Apache 2 restart. And our Apache server should only take a second. It's restarted. We go back to our web browser here and now if we refresh our script, we get hello world as an output. So that is how you create your CGI or your C programs to run on Apache in your CGI bin folder. Um, so again, we just created C code after installing the tools to compile C code. We compiled it and we copied the compiled program into, again, this is on Debian based systems, USR, lib, CGI bin. If you're running Fedora or CentOS or uh, Red Hat, uh, uh, this folder is going to be something different. But if you're on a Debian based system, this is where it should be for Apache 2 anyway. Uh, after doing that, again, you only have to do this once. You shouldn't have to do this again, but sudo a2en mod CGI, and that will enable the CGI scripts uh, for your web server. And then you have to restart your server, but that should stay even after a reboot. This uh, should stay effective. And that's it. I do thank you for watching. Uh, I do hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. That There's also going to be a link in the description to some notes on this, going over what I've gone over. Um, and uh, also, if you do enjoy my videos, uh, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And uh, you can also support me through PayPal if you go to filmsbychris.com. Again, there's a link in the description. There's a support section with links to both my Patreon account and also uh, a PayPal link. So I do thank you for all who support me, and I hope that you have a great day.